Okay, this is day one of the unit circle, building the unit circle, and uh, all we're going to talk about is degrees for the unit circle. So what you're going to find is that we really have three rings of information on the unit circle, and the first of these is called the degree ring. So here's an XY coordinate grid. And upon this XY coordinate grid, we're going to place a circle. Now, we're going to cut this circle up into slices of pizza. It's going to look like this. Here's how you start. You put a yellow point right in the uh, center of quadrant one where the circle exists. And on either side of that, you place two additional points. Now, maybe you can see this. If you took a pizza cutter and went through the center of the pizza, you're not cutting equal slices, and you shouldn't. You'll understand why that's the case here in a moment. All right, so from those three points, all I'm gonna do is line up my straight edge and fire one, two, and three, and now I've got uh, some slices of pizza. Again, uh, you should not worry about the fact that those slices of pizza aren't the same area. It's kind of like uh, splitting a pizza with your little brother or something, and you're gonna take the bigger piece and he doesn't know any better. So, uh, in a symmetrical fashion, I place a yellow point there in the second quadrant and straddle that point with two others and fire through the center those diameters. And um, that's kind of how you set up the increments angle-wise on the unit circle, okay? So next thing we need to know is this. We're gonna place uh, points around that unit circle, check it out. If you can see this again, um, we've got points on the unit circle, and each of these green points is an ordered pair. And we gotta figure out what each of those ordered pairs, what the X and the Y coordinate is of each of those ordered pairs all the way around the circle. More of that to come but we emphasize those points with uh, green uh, points on purpose there, okay? And the next thing is you gotta know where the start line is for the unit circle, and it's right there um, on the x-axis is where we're gonna start around this racetrack, and we're gonna cruise around the unit circle in a counterclockwise direction. Uh, that direction is opposite way that uh, hands go around the clock, right? So that's counterclockwise. All right, so next thing, we're gonna start cruising around in degrees. Well, if we start at the beginning, that's zero degrees. And if we go directly uh, up there, halfway between zero and 90 is 45 degrees. I hope that makes sense to you. We're making 45 degree jumps at this time. There's 90 degrees, another 45 degrees gets us 135. The next one's 180. I jump another 45 for 225, then I get 270. Another 45 degrees gives me 315, okay? The other increments around the unit circle are 30 degree jumps. So you just did the 45 degree jumps. Here come the 30 degree jumps. Oh, that final one is 360. So zero degrees and 360 degrees correspond uh, to the same degree measure, all right? There's 30 degrees. There's 60 degrees, 90 degrees we've already written right there. I bet you know what's coming next. I agree with you, 120 degrees, followed by 150. 30 more gives us the 180 that we already have. Continue the increment by 30 degrees at a time, giving you 210, 240, 270, Next is 300 and 330 degrees. The final degree measure is 360. So I wonder if you could do that now. Could you take and create an XY coordinate grid and then a circle surrounding it? And then uh, place those three points strategically in the first quadrant and fire diameters through, place three points strategically in the second quadrant and fire diameters through, and then go ahead and label those degree measures. 
uh, and do the 45 degree increments first, do the 30 degree increments second. A few notes here to take uh, pay attention to. Number one, uh, this thing is named a unit circle for a reason because it has a radius of one unit. The unit circle has a radius of one unit. So if you can imagine placing this on an XY coordinate grid, the radius equals one. That distance right there is one. And the center of this circle is placed on the origin of an XY coordinate grid zero, zero. Okay, so you need to know that that is gonna uh, be the case. The second point of emphasis here, we're gonna be centered again at zero, zero. The second point of emphasis, oh, you see zero, 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 zero there with a uh, red dot. And so if it's got a radius of one and I go directly to the right one unit, I have the ordered pair one, zero. I go directly up one unit from the center. Of course, I'll have the ordered pair zero, one. If I go left, I'll have the ordered pair negative one, zero. And when I go down, I'll have the ordered pair zero, negative one. Now I realize that you've got additional ordered pairs um, that we haven't labeled yet. We've got 12 remaining ordered pairs that we haven't labeled yet, okay? And we will, we'll get there. But right now what I want you to make sure you take away from this video is you've got a unit circle, you've got a radius of one, you know four ordered pairs surrounding that unit circle immediately, and then can you go degrees? Can you go 30 degree increments all the way around the horn, then 45 degree increments all the way around the horn, and you're sitting pretty. That's the first ring of three on the unit circle. An introduction of the unit circle film one. Digest, over and out.